In three, two, one. It's the court case we've all been waiting for. I'm Jamie East, and this. It's the Smart 7 Days of Wagatha Christie. Well, hello there. We'll be bringing you a special daily update during the high-profile legal action between Rebecca Vardy and Colleen Rooney over the next seven days. It's a tale as old as time. Well, it's as old as 2019, when Colleen Rooney posted the now-famous Instagram post with the tagline, it's dot, 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 Rebecca Vardy's account. It is day three. It is still going on. We've got maybe four, maybe five days left of the trial. Uh, speaking at the High Court for us is Sky News' Gemma Peplo. Gemma, day three, how's it been? Um, it's been a, another intense day at the High Court today. Um, we've heard a lot of, um, of evidence in court today and we've been kind of brought up to the point of the famous it dot 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 Rebecca Vardy's account tweet that kind of kick-started um, this whole case. It, it's been quite intense in court today. We've actually, during the afternoon session, we've had to break a couple of times as uh, Rebecca Vardy has become uh, quite emotional um, in the witness box. What was it that caused her to get emotional? I think it's it, it's kind of different points that are being made, but also the, the kind of the length of time she's been in the in the witness box now. This is her kind of second full day um, of giving evidence and it is it's quite relentless. But, you know, it's, it's Vardy that's brought this case to court. Yeah, I mean, this is true. She's getting emotional. It's her that's done it. Is she garnering much sympathy, do you think? Obviously, you know, outside the court, it's easy to, to kind of see Twitter and, you know, the social media bubble around who we think is maybe being economical with the truth and all that kind of stuff. But is that reflective inside the courtroom or is it a pretty even balanced kind of thing? Well, I think it's difficult to say at this point because it's only been Vardy in the witness box so far and the questioning has all come from Colleen Rooney's lawyer. So, obviously, the the questioning, you know, he is alleging that Vardy is responsible for leaking these stories. So, it's hard to say about it being balanced just yet because we haven't heard um you know the other side of the story colleen Rooney hasn't been questioned yet so i think kind of after that we'll have more of an idea of how balanced it is it seems to it seems to you know the questioning has been very specific you know all the questions that we ask ourselves when we've read about this case and and the events that have happened all that have all been put to her today especially the infamous kind of phones being dropped off the north sea and whatsapp backups accidentally being lost and did we get any more details on that or is it still sticking to the party line yeah it's hard to say about details really that's all been mentioned actually that the 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 missing phone in the north sea and then the deletion of messages that all came up um right at the end of today's hearing um but it's mainly coming from clean really's lawyer david sherborne is putting that these things happen to uh, Rebecca Vardy and it's being described as kind of unfortunate events, I guess, is, is how um, uh, David Sherborne has put that, that it's been described to him, but he doesn't seem to be um, having any of that, I'd say. Hold on to your horses, folks. We will be right back after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back. So Gemma, is that Vardy done now? Is she off the witness box or is there more to come? I think that's her done now. I'm not sure if she's going to have any questions from her own lawyer, but that's um, the end of questioning from from David Sherborne, I think. Have you got any sense of, of once Colleen takes the stand, is it going to be equally as ferocious, do we think? Who knows? I mean, it's it's very much seems to be down to whether Vardy was aware that these leaks were coming from her account, what happened with her agent, Caroline Watt. And as I, as we spoke about before, Caroline Watt, her agent, isn't in court to, to talk about this or give her side of the story. And lots of messages have been deleted. So, um, yeah, it's it's difficult to say. It's going to be interesting um, when, when Colleen really does take the stand um, and we'll get to hear kind of from her exactly how she carried out this operation Um, and I think that's what you know part of why this case is so interesting to everyone isn't it it's because what she did on Instagram is it's the kind of thing that all of us might do if we were you know faced with something like this if we knew that someone was um 
you know, telling stories about us and it was coming from that. It's sort of a very um, normal way of kind of sleuthing your way through Instagram. And I think that's what's kind of so fascinating about it. It does. It feels like something your neighbour would have a spat over, doesn't it? Um, it's important to point out, though, for all the fluff and the gossip and the drama of text messages and name calling and swear words and all the rest of it, this is a libel trial. And unless things have changed since I last got in trouble for libel, um, the onus is on the uh, defendant to prove innocence rather than the prosecution to, to prove guilt, isn't it? Yeah, so that's so yes. And I think that's what some people are getting a bit confused by this case. A lot of people think it's Colleen really suing Rebecca Vardy because obviously she posted this message first, but it's not. This is Vardy suing Rooney for libel over the it's dot, 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 Rebecca Vardy's account tweet. So Vardy has brought this case to court, but it is up to Rooney to prove her innocence, as you say, innocence. She has to prove that what she said was substantially true. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm guessing that's what she is going to do and she and her legal team are going to do over the next few days. I mean, we've heard a lot in court today about kind of other stories um, and interviews that Rebecca Vardy might have given to newspapers, mainly The Sun, and about stage photos. And she's admitted that she, um, you know, has arranged to have stage photos with with paparazzi in the past I say admitted maybe that's the wrong word but she's been candid about that she says she's not you know she's happy to to say that she's done that in the past so we've heard about that we've also heard about the secret wag column today which um, Vardy I should say did deny being the source of but um, just to explain (laughs) that's that that was a column uh, that ran in the sun and it kind of does what it says on the tin really it was a secret wag kind of dishing the dirt on on uh, Premier League footballers. Um, yeah, so we've heard a lot about these kind of stories. A footballer who allegedly um, was uh, pursuing an air hostess, but she um, nothing happened because he um, took his top off to reveal he had a tattoo of his wedding vows, um, which kind of <laughs> scuppered, his, uh, scuppered his romantic plans. All anonymous stories that featured in the secret wag column. But it's really kind of, like you say, background noise to this post and the leaked stories and and who leaked them or not. Whilst you were in court slaving away, uh, Peter Andre gave a statement, uh, which uh, which you work for Sky News. They might be interested to hear. He's, he said, actually, it's not the size of a chipolata; it's the size of a Sky remote. So you can you can go back to Osterley and uh, and compare. Was he talking about the Sky Q remote or the old Sky Plus ones? That's what we all need to know now. <laughs> yeah, we've, I've seen his statement. Actually, I've been watching his video. Um, he released a video today as well. So uh, yeah, we've we've already reported on it. Sky News is already on the case. <laughs> on the case, get the tape measure out. Gemma, thank you so much. Uh, We look forward to finding out what happens tomorrow. Thanks ever so much. Do hit the follow button to get all of these Vardy Rooney updates every single day around about the same time, 4.35pm. And if you're new to us, you will love the Smart 7, which is every single day at 7am. Hit that follow button.